Good morning. Another day is here. They just keep rolling around the corner, don't they? It's gonna be a good day. Got my breakfast. I'm at my loading appointment. There's a crane loading up those two cylinder things right there. Gonna, oh, why am I eating hair? <laughs> why was that in my mouth? We're gonna get this stuff on the trailer. We're gonna tie it down. We're gonna flag it. We're gonna tag it. It's supposed to be a little bit oversized. We're gonna take it to Wisconsin. Let's see, where's it going in Wisconsin? I know this. Grand Rapids? Does that sound right? Grand Rapids? It is going to! No, it's coming from Winnipeg. It's going to Wisconsin Rapids, Wisconsin. How far away is that from here? Let's find, figure this out. Google! Google me. Google me. Hey. What did I say? Grand Rapids? Grand Rapids? Grand Rapids. Wisconsin Rapids. Wisconsin Rapids. No, not Grand Ris Oh, come on. Grand Wisconsin. Grand Wisconsin Rapids. No, how about just Wisconsin Rapids? Hey, dun, 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 dun. True start location. How about my location? Google's being difficult this morning. Does it ever do this to you? Oh, it's a thousand kilometers with 600 miles. Full day's drive. Okay, so we'll be unloading tomorrow morning. Taking both of those. We got the base trailer already. Looks like it's going to be a really easy load to tie down. No idea what it is. Looking at my info I've got on my computer here, it says that it's two filter vessels with feed chambers. 3,800 pounds each. Light load. Doesn't really matter to me what it is. I'll pull it. Well, this is disappointing. This is only day two of having these lights on there, and there's already moisture in there. You gotta be kidding me. You see that? That's disappointing to see on the second day after installing them. But I remember there being an option to get rid of that. There's a seal in the back, a little plug you can unplug. And you turn your lights on, I think they said for half an hour to an hour or something. I'll have to look at the instructions again. You, you sort of unseal the chamber, I guess, and then you let it all evaporate out of there. So there is a way to get that moisture out of the light. At least there's, there's a way, there's supposed to be a way. I guess we'll find out when we actually get to the shop. I'll give it a few more days to see what happens, but. Uh, I really wasn't expecting moisture to get inside there so quickly. Those are supposed to be sealed units, right? I think. But maybe it's the weather. I don't know. I'll see what I can do and uh, I'll keep you updated on the lights. The lights were $179 Canadian. So pretty cheap. Uh, 180 bucks. It's probably, what, 150 bucks American for all four. Got them on Amazon. And they're really bright. DOT approved. Really bright. Uh, I really like them. I just, uh, I hope that, that moisture inside the bulb is not going to be an issue. I'm just glad that they sort of offered a way to get rid of that, just if it works. So when I get back to the shop uh, in a couple of days here, uh, 
I'll pull out those instructions. Uh, I'll show you how it works and I'll give it a shot, see if that'll see if that'll work. I don't want to do that every week though, that's the thing. <laughs> it's only been a day. Um, maybe it's just the weather. It's been really, it's been kind of warm and then it got colder and warm and got colder, maybe that's why. Ready to go. Button down, flagged and tagged. Oh, my oversized load sign's crooked. Oh no. I gotta fix that. Oh, oh. Uh. No, this side can't move because that's got the license plate. Okay. Better? Pretty close. Did I say they were 6,800 pounds each? They're 3,800 pounds each. Uh, I don't remember what I said. If I said it right the first time now, well, I've told you twice. 3,800 pounds each. It's going to Wisconsin Rapids. I gotta figure out if there's a delivery appointment. They're probably gonna need to unload me with a crane. This thing just turned out to be a big parachute. The wind is coming from directly, well, almost directly in front of me, about over there. And it is catching every single molecule of it. Wow, my turbo is up at 20 psi, just steady. Steady. This is going to be a, ooh, it's going to be a high fuel day. I'll be using lots of fuel until we get onto I-94. We start headed that way towards Minneapolis. Hopefully the wind will sort of be a little bit more at our back then. Yeah, the wind's coming from right over there, so we're headed straight south right now. Just about at the border. Gotta do what we gotta do. Didn't know I'd be hauling a parachute today though. I feel like it could have been loaded differently, you know? I feel like it could have been loaded in a way that's a little bit more aerodynamic, or air wind friendly, you know? Oh well, that is what it is. Here we go. You hear that? That's the sound of money shooting right out my stacks. That's not the engine, that, that's straight dollar bills. So I'm in Grand Forks, North Dakota. The sun's gone down and I can't move after dark with an oversized load. So I'm at a pretty good spot. I'm in the front row here or near the front, right by the Flying J. And this is where we're going to be sleeping tonight. We had a few delays on our trip today, so I wasn't able to make it further than this. I was hoping to, because once I get into Minnesota, I can, uh, I can keep going into the night if I have the edges of my load uh, lighted up properly, right? For an oversized load according to my permits and in Wisconsin it's the same thing but North Dakota no oversized loads at night not on my permit anyways so we had some delays here we got held up and uh, the Sun disappeared on us like it always seems to be doing lately it disappears way earlier than we want it to and ran out of daylight hours so this is where we're staying for tonight until the Sun comes up so the vlog got cut a little bit short, but my day got cut short as well. This is why, you know, oversized loads are nice. Uh, they, they do pay better, obviously, because it's a bigger load, more responsibility, right? But at the same time, <laughs> it's kind of frustrating when you're in North Dakota and the permit doesn't allow you to drive at night, even though it's North Dakota and everything is wide open. There's nobody here. The roads are super big and wide and four lane divided freeways, but that's the way it is, so we can't change that. I can just talk about it on the internet. Maybe they'll change it. I'm trying to get my bunk heater to work properly again tonight. I'm having issues with it again. I think I'm gonna need to run it through another cycle uh, for a few hours on high with uh, straight kerosene. One more time to see if that'll work. Cause it worked pretty good and it worked for a couple of days. Now it's going back down to sputtering and not wanting to not wanting to heat my truck 
it's kind of annoying because it's acting different this week than it did last week. Now it heats up and it runs for about an hour or two till you forget about it. You're all nice and warm and comfortable. And then all of a sudden it just silently just shuts off without telling you. Just stops working. And you don't notice it until you're like, suddenly you're like, why am I getting so cold? Got, no kidding, the bunk heater's turned off. Who knows how long that's been off for? So I'm probably still going to have to bring it in. I have an appointment. Excuse me. Oh, I do have an appointment to get it done. I was just hoping to be able to fix it myself and not have to bring it into them. We'll see. We'll do another round of kerosene and see if that does anything. It is what it is. It saves me a lot of money, so it's worth it to get it fixed. It costs a lot of money to idle your trucks through the night. Uh, all, with the cost of fuel especially and the wear and tear on your engine. Oh, it's it's expensive to expensive to idle it. It's turning itself back on now. Now you want to heat? Make up your mind. It had turned off there for a while. I think it's turning itself back on. I have no idea what's going on. I'm too tired for this stuff. I'll see you uh, tomorrow. Uh, we're going to be driving from here, hopefully, and get all the way into Wisconsin. Maybe even get delivered tomorrow afternoon yet, but uh, we got held up a little bit now. We'll see what happens tomorrow. So tune in. Don't forget to subscribe. I make new videos every day. Be safe out there on the roads, please. We're all trying to get home to our families. Just take the extra time. <sighs> Deep breath. Believe me. I'm just as frustrated as you are at the drivers out there. We all just, we all just got to get home. Don't do anything crazy. Okay, keep your stick on the ice, which is Canadian for pay attention. Be ready for anything. <laughs>